This Friday night in old London town, someone will wear the poker crown. 77 stepped up to the table, braved the lights, the cameras, cable. Hopes were raised and dreams were dashed. Chips were chased, hunted, stashed. Players have come, players have gone. Most have failed, some have shone. They used their cunning, their skills, their wits to fight for a place in the final six. Will you put your money on sweet Miss Chamberlain? <laughs> Don't be fooled, she's here to win. Will last year's champ stop her getting her way? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donacher O'Day. Will our Danish friend complete his ascent? Keep your eyes on the cards of Martin Vent. A master tactician, a bragger, a flirt. Sweden's hopes lie with banked sonnet. Quiet and calm sits David Lerner. Could this be his ultimate earner? Our internet winner finishes our set. Tony Jones might be worth a bet. These are the six who will take their seats, praying for luck and no bad beats. The blinds will rise, the players will call, the flop, the turn, the river will fall. They'll be dealt the cards and take a chance. They'll look for a read, a tell, a glance. Hoping for pairs, for trips or a straight. Using their wits, but relying on fate. A twitch at a cheek, a flick of the eyes. Could snatch away the million dollar prize of our final six. Only one can reign. One will take the million. The cheers, the champagne. Yes, welcome to London for the final of the Ladbrokes.com Poker Million 2005. Now the players arrived in some style in a modified Hummer decked out as a casino. No hands played yet though, David Lerner the first to emerge. Dane Martin Bent has a new sleek look. Next out was Anthony Jones, he got here without paying a penny, he is the internet qualifier. And Swedish heartthrob is Bank Sonnet. The reigning champion, that's Donnaker O'Day from Ireland. For Helen Chamberlain, it's just another day at the office for the TV presenter. These then, the six playing for the jackpot of one million dollars. The seating positions, well, they were decided by a draw supervised by tournament director Liam Flood. Amazingly, seat six has gone to the favourite and chip leader Martin Fent. Helen Chamberlain to his immediate right in seat five. In fact, the seats run from highest to lowest in order. Seat one, David Lerner with 113,000 chips. But now let's join Jesse May for a rundown on the rules for tonight. No Limit Texas Hold'em is a variation of poker, with players making the best five-card poker hand from seven available. Play begins with each player being dealt two cards. Players must first make a betting decision solely based on the value of those two cards. This decides whether they are in or out. Next comes the flop. Three community cards dealt face up for all players to see. Players bet again, then a fourth community card is dealt, known as the turn. After another round of betting, the fifth community card, called the river, is placed on the table. Players bet again and reveal their cards. When the betting is done, we see who's won. You must be in the hand at the end to take the pot. Players make the best five card hand from the seven available. Winner takes the money. There is $1.7 million in prize money to be given away on this final table. And I am lucky to be joined this evening by a man who has won tournaments from Lithuania to Las Vegas and a dozen places in between, Roy the Boy Brindley. What do you make of this, Roy? This is fantastic stuff, isn't it? The entire bag of marbles, nearly $2 million, 855000 added prize money by the sponsors, Labrooks Poker. Well, we've already separated the pretenders from the contenders. Here's where we separate the wannabes from the gonna -bees. Yeah, and I mean, the exciting stuff here, that 
players starting with staggered chip stacks. And this one of the big matchups we're going to be looking at tonight. That was Bengt Sonnert and Donica OD. How do you think that one's going to go down? Donica with position on Bengt, but uh, Roy, uh, Bengt can have first, uh, first chance to bluff. Yeah, Bengt's my favorite. I firmly believe he's the best player at this table. He's got a fantastic seating position. Tony Jones isn't, want to, yeah, isn't going to want to go home yeah. early. Donna Crow Day, we know he's very tight. Learner to his right. He's not going to be stealing. I think Bent's got a fantastic sitting position. And the cards are in the air. Donica O.D., well, he made a name by folding earlier on. He's folded this first hand. And a player that we weren't expecting to be aggressive early, Tony Jones, has picked up the ace jack and uh, raised it up, Roy. And now Helen. straight from the get-go, nice hand. Yeah, well, Helen has the exact same hand, and she has got a decision to make. I believe she's called this bet. Pass. Hold it around now. It was quite a big bet. I believe it was 12,000, cool. triple the bet. Blinds here for this first round are two and 4,000. Those are the forced bets, and we now have 38,000 in the pot. That's Bank Sonnert's hand, Roy. Uh, three way for the flop. Yeah, he's in good shape, isn't he? There's only two aces and two jacks left in the deck. Conversely, there's three tens and three kings left in there. You know, Bengt is the kind of guy, he is not scared to go out first. Uh, he would rather have a chance at winning. He knows that prize on top. And uh, here is the flop. They've all missed, except uh, four diamonds for yeah. Tony Jones. Yeah, four diamonds. And an ace as an over card. Now you must consider he's got 12 outs, 12 cards in the deck to make his hand. He's wisely betting it. The bet is 15,000. Those red chips worth 5,000 apiece. And Tony Jones has taken the first pot. Who would have thought, Roy? And it's a nice pot too, a good size. Kicked off at 166. He's up to 192,000, I believe, with that pot. Third position. Look at that smile. These are the chip values. Of course, yellow chips, 1,000 each. The blues worth 2,000. The reds, that's what Tony Jones were betting. Five grand a piece, and uh, they love to have those greens. Tony has not picked up any greens yet. 10,000 a piece. And uh, there is $1.2 million in chips on this table, Roy. And uh, if, you want, if you want the million, you've got to get all of them. Yeah, I see the bookmakers were making Martin went the two to one favorite. Well, a two to one shot takes 33% of the field. But Martin hasn't got 33% of the chips, so I think that was uh, that was out somewhat. Well, Tony Jones, look at this. I mean, uh, when Tony Jones was lying in bed last night, he was thinking, I just want to pick up some good cards early. It's come true so far. And uh, it's been a raise, I think 12,000 again, four plus eight. Fold it around now. These players have all passed. And Pass. Donica OD not taking on Tony Jones. So it's 2-4-2 two, two from this Essex man. <laughs> and that'll make the family happy, Roy. So Tony Jones has pulled himself up 198,000, but uh, third hand in the air. And Helen Chamberlain, very comfortable in chips starting out with 289,000. She was the second stack and is still there, but it's folded up shop. Well, there is an expression in poker, Jesse, you know, a big stack is only collateral for future damage. And the two big stacks, Martin went 335,000, Helen Chamberlain 277. Raise it's there to be lost total. as much as anything else. There has been a raise, and this is what we expected. Bank Sonnert coming in straight and strong and putting the pressure on Anthony Jones, who uh, looks like he's going to peel off a flop with the suited connectors. But uh, this is the matchup that Bank Sonnert's been looking for, isn't it, Roy? Seven high flop would be interesting. Ace, five, eight. Flop is down. Action will be on Jones. And they've both got something. Up and down straight draw for Tony Jones. Well, an experienced player might fancy a, a check raise here. But Bengt has hit top pair. Now he's checked it. A four or a nine would make things really saucy. And uh, get Bank Sonner in a whole heap of trouble. Well, he's dodged one bullet. Tony enjoyed that free card. But he might have taken that check as weakness. He has. 
Well, I mean, a bank sonnet, a man, he, his specialty oh, is this no limit cash hold'em. And uh, Roy, if he was trapping on the flop, now he's got Anthony Jones at a very strong call. Spot he just called. The bet was 15,000. This pot's really big. Yep, he's playing to accumulate chips. You can get paid. You can also lose a lot of chips. And if this card comes, well, it didn't. But if it had a come of four or a nine, Bent would have done himself some serious brain damage. As it is, he has the best of it. 15, Tony Jones with an opportunity to bluff. That call was so quick by Bank Sonner. And it is a showdown. Best hand will win the pot. 61, 76,000, excuse me. And Bank Sonner has just taken all the chips. Yeah, that Tony Jones spent three pots accumulating. Oh, that good work. First couple of hands. It's all turned out to be futile as Bent takes a sizable pot off of him. Now, we know something now. What kind of game is Bent Sonnet playing? He's playing a game to get the chips. Okay, he didn't play that hand powerfully. He was trying to bleed as many chips out of it. It's very dangerous, but you can get chips together that way. I'm well, lucky you missed the draw there. <laughs> poker is all about the ranking of hands. Every five-card poker hand falls into the official poker ranking. At the bottom, high card only. That's nothing at all, but just above that, one pair pair of aces of course the highest beating any other pair higher on the ladder two pair in this case jacks over nines and three of a kind self-explanatory and moving up the poker ladder a straight five cards in a row of any suit aces play high and low for straights a flush is five of the same suit in any order suits don't count as far as the ranking goes full house three of a kind plus a pair four of a kind is better still and uh, everybody looking for that straight flush that is five in a row all of the same suit and a royal flush top of the pops that's a straight flush ace high I'd love to have it in hearts and <laughs> this early action uh, has made Ben Sonnet very dangerous here Roy yep he's into third position already 170,000 if he clashes with anybody he's almost certain to go into the chip lead David Lerner at the bottom of the ladder, ace queen under raise. the gun, suited, more, 12, and he's announced raise. a raise. Is Lerner the one that everybody has their Pass. eyes on as far as the target Pass. here, Roy? Short stack, Pass. ready to be picked on? Well, they clearly won't be looking at him, Pass. eyes on him in regard to that shirt. It truly is dreadful. Truce of form as the heat's in the semi-final. That deserves a custodial <laughs> sentence, I declare. So this blaze of orange is just waiting for Martin Vent to make a decision, and Vent has plenty of chips to take him on. There's Vent's cards. Uh, he's dominated. Well, he's not in good shape, but he is on the big oh. blind. He's got chips committed. But this is the thing, Jesse, we know this. We know this about Martin Vent. He's been out of form for six months. He's played all over the world. And uh, this is a bit of a scary flop for Lerner. He's short stacked, and he's missed it. Little does he know he's got the best hand. We've got, this, we've got this understanding of Went now that he's, he's actually refusing to lay down hands in the last couple of months. Check. 18,000. Lerner sticks in a tickle of 18,000, and Vent is a believer. Oh, David Lerner had his back against the wall there, Roy. Found the bet with no pair and has taken the pot on the back of it. Nice bet, sir. Nice bet. <laughs> Lerner is from Bradford. He's been on the poker scene for some years and then some, the Manchester Midlands area, but this is the biggest spot he's ever been in. <laughs> They've played five hands here, and Vent still on the post, but uh, Benk sonnert has been the man on the move. Two to one.
action here Pass. on the Dane, Pass. who has been slow like molasses. That seems to have been his game Pass. plan so far. Until <laughs> the last rounds, I think, try to raise that position. He raise, six hit on by Donica, and now Donica, with button in hand, Pass. and the raise. Six thousand more. Oh. Yeah, it's barely a barely a dent in a two hundred and eighty nine thousand chip stack. Love to come. It'll be on Helen. And she has hit it, Roy. There's two ways of playing this. She can check it, okay. which she opts to. She's wow. induced to bluff here. Fantastic play. Oh, how 12, deep will Donica dip down now? Raise. Raise. Well, wow, Helen's given away a lot of information there by raising. She's got an absolute monster. She must fancy she's near invincible against any hand. But she's going to get Donica off the hand rather than play it out and more. try and accumulate more and more. 34 total. The bet Pass. was 12,000, and the 22,000 raise has seen the Don off. But Helen Chamberlain defending the blind. <laughs> And she is not showing the car, and Stonica smiling. <laughs> he says, I better not stick my hand in the cookie jar too often. Helen, no mug raking this pot. And uh, she's very close in now on Martin Vent into second. There are still six here, and I am lucky to be joined by one of the top names in poker, Barmy Barney Boatman. And uh, Barney, you've been watching. What have you seen here? Uh, Who's your favourite? Well, I think David Lerner uh, hasn't done anything wrong yet. And interestingly enough, he's probably got more experience than anybody apart from Donica O'Day. And I've liked the way that the little uh, furries that he's made up to now. Anthony Jones has been very unlucky in his, uh, in his uh, battles with Sonnet. And uh, Donica O'Day made that great move, but unfortunate come against Chamberlain's big hand there. Yeah, and... Uh, Donica had been looking a little short stacked, but the Cowboys have come just in time here for Donica. And the raise, six plus nine is 15,000. He'd love to find somebody with some kind of hand to give him some action. Donica has gone, uh, for no fault of his own, he's, he's gone short stacked in this game. Great time, like you say, to find a big hand like this. And Martin, with the chip lead, may fancy taking a pop with his uh, no not against donica he knows donica means business that that 10 jack suited uh, was martin vent's favorite hand in the semi-final but here david lerner now good it's instincts by vent i think uh, he, he, i think he realized that uh, donica wasn't going to be backing off at this point lerner given the long look over to donica od and he has given it up so <laughs> everybody acting like Donica was stealing the pot, but he was praying for a call. And OD, that move he made earlier, Barney, uh, is yeah. that... So it was a classy move, especially because there were two players behind him, which made it look like a stronger move. I mean, what would you have done with Ace-Queen when there's a raise and then Donica, Day, Donica O'Day re-raises? You're sitting there in the blinds with something like Ace-Queen. Very, very hard to play anything except a premium hand there. So a very strong move by Donica, who hadn't made a play up until that point. And as I say, he was very unlucky against Chamberlain. She flopped that huge hand against him. He did nothing wrong in that pot, but he went right backwards there. He started off this evening in fourth position now down to sixth but he was short stacked during the whole semi-final so no panicking going on there that's right i was going to say he's probably the calmest player here. he's been there a million times far and away he's probably got more experience than the rest of them put together <laughs> and uh honestly not just years but experience too and, and he's he's going to be there right to the death cool. i've given it up on the button <laughs> i recognize his move and uh, a little okay. limp in here from David Lerner, Sonnert with the option. How is this matchup going to go down? Queen deuce against the 8-6. Action will be on David Lerner, who's got the best hand right now. Well, he doesn't know it. He doesn't have the position. Sonnet far more likely to do a steal in this type, kind of situation. Sonnet now picks up the middle pin. But Lerner has taken away has taken the initiative here. I like that play a lot. He realizes Sonnet doesn't have Sonnet has just got just got enough to call. He's done enough he's done a lot of calling. I hope he's intending to take it away on the river. If he's just calling to hit the straight, this is not great play. Banked has flat called river to come. A five would make Banks hand, but uh, 
as you said, Barney, he is an expert at no limit play. And um, he's that guy, he wins every available chip in the pot. You think he might, might bluff it on the river. I like Lerner's bet on the turn. He sensed that Sonic didn't have anything. Sonic doesn't really believe Lerner's got much either. You know, you know, I think I think that Bank may have raised David Lerner here. Well, well, that that is strong play. Sorry, As I'm I say, just calling on the turn wouldn't have been great play here. He's taken the initiative. He had half a hand there, and he fancied he fancied that Lerner realised no one had a king, and it was there for the taking. Good play. That's the best play we've seen from Sonic so far. Lerner, a little bit unfortunate. He did nothing wrong either. We well, missed that completely, but Bank Sonner didn't. <laughs> he had no hand at all. Eight high. And the big bluff, 25 hands, has seen Beck Sonnert move from fifth position up into third, almost 200 grand. Yes, and that's the most aggressive play we've seen from Sonnet so far. A little bit fortunate in a couple of earlier pots against Jones when he was caught in two mines with half a hand, but that was good, strong play, Jesse. That was quite a sight. 20,000 in total. Oh. 20,000 is the total bet, Barney. That's a big under-the-gun raise from Anthony Jones. Yeah, well, I like the way he has not been overawed in this game at all. He's been playing very, very strong. And I do believe he's enjoying himself, Jesse. Hey, say to hearts, King Crab. And uh, <laughs> big smile from Tony Jones. He took the pot off Donico D's big blind there. Well, I won't say not in their class, but they've got better games than I have. They've got more experience. I am the underdog of the table. You know, I can quite easily see that. But if I get the cards, I know what to do with them. Whether I can... If I don't get the cards, I'm going to find, find it quite hard. Cars out um, now. Between that and it'll be days. Helen Chamberlain. <laughs> Six grand a call. <laughs> Those long looks she's given around the table, Barney. Yeah, uh, you'd think she had a big hand there, huh? No one's complaining about getting those looks from Helen Chamberlain. Pass. Pass. Ben on the on the button with something to think about here. The Queen Jack suited. Good hand to find on the button, even if you're not as aggressive as him. Fifteen thousand in total. Well, he's raised every time he's been on the button so far. Is it disguised? And Tony Jones has not been shy about taking Bank Dawn. Pass. Cool. But with the nine Thank high, you. gives it up. And Bank says, good play. I think Ben showed that because he thought it was a genuine hand, hand Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah, it was the first time. That's the first time so far. <laughs> no, 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 no. Had a two pair. Oh, two, two different times I had two pair. That I had? Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're playing too much Omaha. Almost seems like Donica <laughs> is trying to yeah. feel that's bent that's out. Uh, Barney, he's engaging him in conversation, but... Uh, one thing to draw for just Jesse, if you if you get into a conversation with Donica, he's going to find out a lot more than you do. <laughs> Mostly because you'll be doing all the talking. Fold it around to the Swede. This game's been very impressive so far, but hard to pin down. An A6 not folding those, is he? Very similar situation to last time, Barney. But this time Donica folds up. Has he got a read on Banked? Well, it's funnily enough, it's not the kind of hand you want to get involved against a Razor or an Ace Rag. And uh, yes, he doesn't want to be doing it every time, and Bank very relieved to see Donica passing. Well, they're in the semi-finals, this was the key matchup. Helen all over, oh, Banked, and look at this. Okay, it looks like a re-raise. Well, as I say, it's funnily enough, it's a lot prettier kind of hand to make a re-raise with than an ace rag. And she knows how to play. She's been to the Mad Martin School of Excellence. She knows you don't just call with these kind of hands. You put the pressure on. The re-raise was 15,000, and Banks called quickly. Is he watching the flopper? Is he watching Helen? This pot's big already. Well, I've got to say, I'm surprised by Banks' call. I don't know what he wants to see now. 
Wow, she's hit the flop, Barney. Wow. And she stuck a ton of money in. Bank folded his cards up very quickly. And Helen Chamberlain has drawn Swedish blood. Great play by Helen. And they're pushing Bent around a bit now. I mean, not only did she play the head party, she came over the top with it before the flop and is now the chip leader. Is there nothing she can't do? No, as I say, she's been to that mind, man, my school of excellence. You can forget about it. People will be putting their name down for that at birth now. <laughs> and she really has got everything in her game. He does tend to come out betting when she hits, but then if he oh, plays many hands as she does, that's, that's not such a bad pass. thing to do because uh, people don't know whether she's hit or not. So Helen Chamberlain on top pass. right now. 1.7 million at the table. Donica OD has got the least of them. <laughs> you almost laughed before you. Had anything on the pot? I don't think no, that's no, the second no, time that's happened to me after I've won a pot where I was not thinking at all. Yeah, you just want to imagine it, yeah. It's such a weird fight, it's like hard to minimize. Well, it's a little fault in my thing. I would like to help him for days, it's not my kicker. I don't think so. Have they shook the nerves off, Barney? Is it game on from here on in? They're all talking now. You can tell it's for a million, can't you? Yeah, and you can be sure nobody's thinking about the second prize, even though that's pretty big as well. And I'd like to see something more from Venk. He's been he's been very very quiet. I mean, he's uh, he slipped now Pass. into second place. He's done nothing wrong, Pass. but he doesn't want to lose his grip on this game. Pass. Fold it around this pot. Martin Vent in the small blind. And uh, not many cards, but David Lerner, very short, 18, looking a bit meek. 18, Lerner's calling. Queen suited here, Barney. This pot's going to be big, 36,000 already. Well, I don't know what Lerner is thinking about. He's just hoping to hit a flop, but uh, he may think that second pair is enough if he... I don't think Lerner can afford to put this one down now. Orange on pink. Venkt has to bet a king high flop. Lerner's experience enough to know that. And I think Vent has just splashed green in the pot. He may make Lerner make an all or nothing decision well, here, Well, he's made it so expensive that it's hard for Lerner to come over the top and make him pass. I mean, is this the danger to play in the big stacks when you're short? <laughs> I think Lerner might just decide it's time to make a stand. I mean, he. he if he does play, he has to move all in. He's certainly thinking about it. He knows he must at least have, have outs, even if he's behind. But he also knows... The thing is, Vent's done very little. Pass. 27,000 was the bet, and David Lerner has laid down the best hand there. And that is the first bulldoze that Martin Vent has made. <laughs>